So, my name is Aiden Jolin. I am the projections manager. I'm Alex Redding, and I'm playing Mrs. Shears and other ensemble characters. I'm Jada Hutchinson, and I'm playing Siobhan. I'm Fritz Redding, and I'm an ensemble member. I am Day Johnson, and my main character is Rev Peters. I'm Mia Bianchi, and I play Judy. I'm Solomon James Obert, and I play Christopher Boone. I'm Nicholas Freeman, I'm the director of the show. I play Christopher Boone. He is a young 15-year-old boy. He lives in Swindon with his dad. He is autistic. He has a rat named Toby. He likes maths, outer space, and he's relatively sheltered from the outside world, but after a certain incident, uh, he's really encouraged to go outside and explore. You get to see, you know, the story through his perspective. It's a very powerful story. Because the story needs to be told. <laughs> We put a lot of work into it, tech, stage help, hands, it's important, powerful. Come and see it, it's a lot of fun. We put a lot of work into it. As an ensemble, we have the job of creating the space for people to believe that the story is happening. I think for me, this role has been exceedingly challenging as far as navigating it, but it's been really fun because it's been such a challenge. I am so like genuinely impressed with Solomon. This role is not easy. He has come at this role with such sincerity and um, openness. Too many of us have not taken the time to really understand neurodiversity. If we can look at one another, no matter who that person is, and understand that they have a story and that their story is different than ours, their perspective is different, their approach, their lens is different than ours. If we can see that in one another, then the show will really have an impact on our community. Sincerity. Powerful, important, I'd say fun. Significant, powerful, necessity. Complex and important. Important, brilliant, thoughtful. Heartfelt, ordered. Informative, emotional, powerful. And it's real. If you're talking about happiness and sadness, there's a fair, a fair dose of both.